Hello guys, I hope you all are fine. And today we are back with yet another amazing opportunity that is from Google. So Google is hiring software engineering intern, and this opportunity is basically for twenty twenty five and twenty twenty six graduates. So if your pass out year is twenty twenty five or twenty twenty six, you can easily take part in this internship. Today in this video, we are going to check each and every insight of this particular internship. Like what are the things you are uh, that the company is offering you, and how you can register for this particular internship. So watch the video till the end so that you do not miss any kind of important update. So let's get into the update. So this link you will be getting in the description box. As soon as you click on this link, you will be launched to Talent Battles official website where we have posted this Google hiring opportunity. So as you can see here, this is software engineering intern summer twenty twenty four. So 2024 is basically their year and the batch is mentioned here in the bracket that is 25 and 26 and locations are Bangalore, Hyderabad and Pune. These three are the locations. So deadline is very near only four days are left. So if you are interested for this internship, you must register before this. Let us check what is our job. So join us for a 10 to 12 a week paid internship. So they have mentioned like this would be a paid internship. It means a stipend would be provided if you successfully complete this internship. It offers personal and professional development and community building. The software engineering internship program will give you an opportunity to work in computer science uh, solutions, develop scalable distributed software systems, and also collaborate on multitudes of smaller projects that have universal appeal of course google is a very very big brand so you can expect a number of projects uh, coming to you and a very good uh, work-life balance or you can say a community that you will develop these kind of internship will definitely help you to gain your full-time role as well so you must take part in this internship next our engineers create fix extend and scale code to keep it working against all the bad actors of the internet you will work on software development projects to keep important business critical systems up and running so basically the profile is strictly towards software development so if it uh, if it is your interested field you must take part in this let us check the eligibility criteria now so minimum qualification is currently pursuing a bachelor's, master's or PhD degree in computer science or a related technical field. So your stream should be uh, technical only like computer science, IT you can be. Experience in software development and in one or more general purpose programming language. Ability to speak and write in English fluently. So this is the minimum qualification. Now let us check what are the preferred qualifications like these qualifications will be highly preferred and will be counted as an added advantage. So returning to a degree program up after completion of the internship, it means uh, you must return back to your degree. So uh, as we mentioned, this is for 25 and 26 students experience in system software and algorithm. So you must be good at data structure and programming languages. Knowledge of Unix, Linux or Windows environment and APIs. So one of the operating system you must know very nice. Familiarity with TCP IP and network programming. Excellent implementation skills. Example C++, Java or Python. So these three languages uh, are mentioned that would be preferred. C++, Java or Python. Next responsibilities. Specific responsibilities vary by project area. So as the project is, they will be giving you some specific roles and responsibilities upon your uh, selection in particular project. Please complete your application before 14th Feb. So before 14th Feb, you must uh, register for this particular internship. Our summer internship will start in May and June. So May or June, May it will get started and it would be 10 to 12 week in duration. This internship is intended for students who are pursuing bachelor's, master's or dual program degree. To start the application process, you need an updated CV, resume, PDFs covered with official transcripts in English. So you must have a transcript like uh, your mark sheets basically. And let us check out now apply on this button. So we'll click on apply and uh, check it out like what is this registration process and how you can easily do that. And by applying to this position, you will have opportunity to share at working locations like, okay, so there are a number of locations out of these locations, they can deploy you Bangalore, Karnataka, Hyderabad, uh, Pune, Telangana, so you can be okay, three locations. So Bangalore, Hyderabad and Pune. 
So we'll click here on the apply button. We'll log in. Again, we'll click on apply button. Yes. So as soon as we click on apply button, we are landed to Google's official website where the opportunity is mentioned. This is software engineering intern summer 2024. All the instructions are mentioned here as well. So if you uh, want to read it, you can read it and similar things are mentioned on our page as well. So uh, read each and everything very carefully before applying. So we'll just click here on the apply button and I'll show you the complete form like what they are asking you to fill so that you can keep yourself ready. So career profile they have already ticked. So maybe uh, you can be also like uh, there must be a condition like you have either applied for any Google uh, company like uh, any post in Google before this time. So they have uh, taken our, all the details. If it is not taken, we'll check like what were the details. Just give me a minute. Yes. So this was my first page. So this was my first page. First of all, we have to add our resume. Next, some um, there are basic contact details. This is my legal name, preferred names, country, city, state, each and everything. Addresses, phone numbers, email IDs, websites. Okay. In website, you can also mention your LinkedIn profile. Okay. There are your school, basically your college name, your degree, your degree status, your major, your country. Okay. And then you have to upload the transcripts in work experience. You can mention like if this is your first job. Yes, of course, because this is an internship opportunity. This would be your first job. Next uh, skill set. You can mention here skill set. You can mention here your skills, your locations, any preferred locations. If you have, you can choose from the preferred location. Cover letter is optional if you have ready it. So you can just upload it and profile preferences. You can just uh, you have to just tick on some uh, like basic uh, log uh, that checkboxes next moving to the next page there is the role and information so here is the role and information your preferred location is asked once again so you can fill from these three locations bangalore hyderabad or pune so we'll click here on bangalore any additional if bangalore is not available so we'll click on both okay so we can be available on both then work authorization are you legal to work in employment yes do you currently need or will somebody require somebody require Google to sponsor work authorization? No. Okay. Next, we'll click here on the next button. Yes. Please identicate, uh, I'd indicate your gender. So male next is uh, indicate your race. So you can just click here on your uh, race, whichever you want to choose. Otherwise, you can click on I choose not to disclose. Uh, please identicate your disability status. So no, I don't have any disability. Please uh, indicate if you are currently serving in a military. So no, I'm not serving. Next, a uh, consent is there. Similar kind of consent you have signed on the previous page as well. So we'll click here on the next button. Yes, so just here you can review your uh, profile once again. If you think there is any uh, mistake, so you can just click uh, on edit. Here is the edit button. Always you will find here. So you can just click on edit button and you can just edit it. And at last you'll just click here. I understand the consent and we'll click here on apply. So yes, so your profile is successfully submitted. So this was uh, this was a very easy step. Okay, so very basic details they want. Only the thing is your updated resume is really very important. So this was all about Google today. So hope you like the video. And if you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can comment down below. Our team will have any additional queries related to placement strategies, roadmaps. You can easily connect with us. This is a free of cost one-on-one -on -one mentorship will be provided to you. And our mentors will tell you the strategies tips and tricks how you can crack your placement easily and that's all and meet you in the next video with another new update thank you for watching the video subscribe to our youtube channel for the further updates thank you